Well, we're back at it. It's been a few months since we were able to start working on the foundation, and uh, today is our day to get uh, get started on that. A uh, good part is our uh, lumber delivery for the lumber package for the entire shop or house has been uh, been pulled and ready to be delivered. However, the next uh, big uh, hurdle in that uh, process is getting the foundation done. So today we're going to get started with uh, lining things out and get at least the corner set and we'll start uh, putting in the ICFs for our foundation. So come along as we get started. Well, as you can see from my list here, uh, I got quite a few, quite a bit that uh, is actually going to go into setting up this foundation. Although the ICFs are like Legos and they stack, you have to get the first row set uh, complete and uh, square so that every corresponding la layer that you put on, and I've got four layers to put on to equal four feet, uh, is uh, correct. And so everything lines up going up the wall. So with that, I've got to set the corners. That's the first job of today is to uh, get the corner set and make sure that everything is square, uh, both uh, in both directions. And then I can start laying out the first row to make sure everything is lined up evenly, horizontally across uh, uh, the entire foundation. The front porch is going to take a little bit of work uh, simply because I have to cut into the uh, ICFs that make up the house foundation and actually set those forms inside the others. Uh, and you'll get a bigger picture of that when I get to it. Plus I have a giant rock in my way. I've got to try and sort out exactly how I'm gonna get around that thing. I thought about uh, chipping it out of there, but it would take a lot more energy and work to jackhammer it out than it is to probably go around it. Although we'll, we'll see when we get to that point. Anyway, we're going to get that done, and then once, uh, once the first row is set, uh, we'll start uh, laying in the uh, vertical uh, upright uh, rebar and then start stacking our stacks on top of that and to, you know, doing our layers with rebar and the ICFs. So little by little, we'll start taking shape in this. Um, you know, like I said, there's a lot of process to that. I've got to uh, still have to put in uh, pa pass-throughs uh, for the water, for the septic and then for the sump pump drainage, uh, those three pass through holes will get put in after the wall is completed. And uh, then in the middle of that, I've got it, well, not in the middle, but once I get to the wall being completely up, uh, then it comes down to uh, bracing up everything and uh, getting ready to pour. So I've got a, quite a bit to do on the foundation. It's gonna take, uh, it's gonna take some work to get that done, uh, but we'll, uh, we'll get that going. <clears throat> on top of that, uh, weather's starting to improve here. We're starting to get some warm temperatures, so we still have to uh, get back on doing all the caulking for the uh, shop siding. Um, the weather and the cold has uh, stopped me from doing that because you need a certain temperature in order to get into that. So we've got that on the project list as well. Uh, as you can see, <clears throat> we've got uh, water system, septic system, and ICFs are kind of the three big ones. Uh, we're still waiting on the lumber package. I know that that is in, uh, but I won't have that delivered out here until I have poured the walls or getting ready to pour the walls for the foundation. And then I'll have all the lumber put out here and we'll start from there. Anyway, we'll get back to it and uh, see if we can get the uh, first row of ICFs in today.
we'll get into these uh, corners set on the, all four corners, making sure that I've got uh, square or the foundation square is my utmost priority. I kind of ran into that problem with the shop, having that huge hump in the center of that uh, caused me some issues when I was trying to square that up. Uh, so I had to make some adjustments on the footers on the shop to make that wor work right. Luckily here, I've got uh, quite a bit of uh, flat plane. Everything is open and so I can work with it. Uh, now I just have to set all the corners, make sure that we've got square uh, along the house and that everything is uh, evened up. And then we'll start laying down the first row blocks. Uh, the first row is pretty much uh, the essential row. Everything else after that goes straight up uh, and then the rebar. So pretty easy uh, once it gets started, but it's a, it's a priority to make sure this first row is set correctly. And we've got everything where we want it to go before we proceed. So we'll just keep at it. Well, the good part is the corners are square and so uh, that, uh, that brings some relief you know making sure that all the footers and all that were uh, aligned correctly and square uh, is a big help and like I said I'm being overly cautious to make sure that I get this correct right because uh, I don't want to have a building out of square and have to fight it all the way up to the roof but uh, that's good news we've got uh, got some good progress going on that we got this corner squared so now we'll start laying down some of the longer block and seeing what we've got as far as uh, the first row goes. And then I'll re-square it again just to make sure before we start to kind of seam things up and add any rebar. Uh, it's better to measure a few different times and get the correct measurements and what we need before we get uh, too far along. But uh, I'm pretty happy with the progress so far. Doesn't look like much, but believe it or not, it is uh, quite a bit to make sure that's done correctly. So let's just keep at it and see where we get. Well, it's a new day here on the uh, foundation project. We got chased out the other day by rain, you know, spring in Montana. That's the way it goes. I mean, we're back out here today to try and get uh, this first row in and see if we can uh, get that completed. So let's get started.
Come all you young rounders And a story I'll tell Of the promise of heaven And the warning of hell but Take heed where you ramble Or too soon you will go Way up on the hillside Where the new flowers grow Well, he met in the springtime The sun sank low Two star-crossed lovers In the still-melting snow Where the loving was he Courting was brief. There they called her a beast. They called him a thief. In the quiet of the evening, they'd steal away. Where the laughter would flow and the fiddle would play. Well, the folks called it wrong But hell, it seemed all right In the sun-painted picture In the day turned to night Come up on the hills We'll have a time You'll bring the kisses, honey I'll bring the wine Keep your heart guarded Or too soon it'll fall When one walks back home And one knows it all There she walked up the Alone one Heart is a hunter. Always knows the best friend. And her father's old pistol. Hanging loose by her side. When she aimed once, never shot once. Well, the air was so still. Sky was so blue. Well, it necessitated uh, working on this corner here. I got to cut the uh, straight out and then put another straight in. Uh, it's pretty common practice according to the manufacturer. So we've we'll got this done and then we'll just do the bracing for the corners right in here and here once we get uh, all the wall completed. Well, one thing that's uh, a substantial obstacle is this massive boulder. Uh, behind me uh, you can see that the footer for the porch comes up to it and then again along here uh, up to that rock so the corner is going to be right right in the middle of that of that rock so it's going to take a little bit of calculation on my end in uh, placing the ICF corners there and how I'm doing that that's still ahead of me and got some work but we'll work on the main part of the foundation before we start to tackle this but uh, that certainly is one of the major obstacles I have to deal with. I'm also going to have to take out, uh, get a drill and drill in some rebar uh, mark or put in some rebar in this rock. So I'm going to have to rent a, a rotary hammer and drill those out and put the rebar in. That's still ahead, uh, still ahead of me to get it done. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get back to this, but uh, certainly is one of the bigger obstacles in the foundation I still have to tackle. Uh, a little perplexing, but I will, uh, I will get it sorted out at some point. So let's get back to putting in the uh, standard blocks and see if we can get our first row done. All right, so the standard block's gonna come up to here. This corner has to sit just like this, but we have the distance of the rock. So in order to make this work, when I put the corner on, I either have to come up, I either have to find a, a piece to come up right here, be it plywood or using the foam to 
fill this gap to make it even. Or I have to cut one of these down to where it can be even with the, with the foam. So either way, they've got to get this corner to line up to where it's even. All the, so it'll be even at both corners so, across the top. So you're leveraging the rock for the height of the second. Well, I have to compensate for the rock in order to get the the angle that, or the height that I want. Got it. I hereby crown you King Fix It. Yeah, I'm winning, all right. I'm winning. <laughs> well, the good part is we got the entire uh, first row down and squared up, evened out, and uh, that's a good thing for us. I'm pretty, pretty pleased with it. It's the most important. It's the most important piece of this for sure, uh, because if that's not set straight and squared up and even, then the rest of the wall going up won't be. So, pretty happy with that. Anyway, if you like this type of thing, please remember to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. And uh, my goal for next week is to uh, finish off the ICF stem walls, get all the rest of the ICFs in place, rebar installed, and hopefully ready for cement. So stay tuned as we uh, continue on with the foundation for the house. And thanks for watching.